Sit right here beside me, and we're going to no. talk about the book of Samson, <laughs> Strong and Faithful. Samson, Strong and Faithful. Look at Samson. Alexa, but, uh, how let's... much stories do we read? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. She doesn't know how many stories we read. Alexa has no clue, even though she should have been uh, in the workshop. Alexa, what's a song? I didn't catch that. Please say that again. Alexa, play dinosaurs. What do you want me to play? Play dinosaurs. Dinosaurs? We are the Dinosaurs by the Lori Berkner Band on Amazon Music. I don't know what that one is. Okay, Alexa? No, no. 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 Alexa? can see Jack acting like he's a little baby. He's looking at the little baby Jack. Look at him. Do you no. need me? Hey Jack, should I go get a bottle for you? No. Okay, come on. Sit up here. Hurry up. I want a baby bottle. <laughs> you want a baby bottle? Get up here. Funny. No, no. Funny. I don't want one. No. I don't want one. Samson Strong and Faithful is in Judges uh, chapters 15 and 16. Okay. Oh, wow. Wait. Look at this. Look oh. at this. He's not. Look at him. What in the world is he carrying? What in the no world? Way. What's I'm... he carrying? What do you think it is? Looks like he's carrying part of a building. It says the Israelites had displeased God. God had to take a stand. So he allowed the Philistines to rule over their land. But Samson followed all, all God's rules. He grew up big and strong. He also no, never cut... No. Look at all this hair that... <laughs> stop it. He all, Look at all this hair Samson has. He also never cut his hair. He let it grow real long. Why? Samson never... Why won't he cut it? Well, we're going to find out. But do you know... Could you imagine what your hair looked like if you never got it cut? I don't want it. So... I do look funny. You know why I look funny? Yeah. Because I'm, I'm looking like this. <laughs> do that again. <laughs> Come on. Get up here. God gave Samson the gift of strength. More strength than How anyone. How much do you have a lot. One? He ripped the door. You oh, you know what this is? It's the doors of a city gate. This He's carrying doors around like. Look at that. He ripped the doors off city gates and carried logs for fun. He had fun Wait. lifting all that heavy stuff. So let's just see what, oh, look he is he again. He's still got hair. What the heck do you think these are? What's this? Snakes. I don't know. Let's find out. The he got snakes in him. Jack's thinking those are snakes around Samson. I don't know. We'll see. The Philistines did not like him. They thought he was a threat. They tried to catch and tie him up, but he broke through the net. Samson escaped time after time. The Philistines were hot. That means they're mad. They found a girl to be their spy and work their evil plot. So they tried to get Samson, but he was just way too strong. So look at Delilah. Delilah's going to pull a trick on Samson. There's Delilah. Why? She was quite beautiful. Listen to this. She knew just what to do. And Samson fell in love with her. He thought oh, she those loved the him bad too. Guys? Yep, these are the bad guys. They're going to go after Samson, but they're going to use Delilah to do it. She's going to pretend that she loves Samson. So wait and see what she does. But she worked for his enemies. They offered her a fee. They said, he has this awesome strength. Find out how this can be. So they're going to offer her money to see what, what the power is of his strength. I think see what Pappy. No, Pappy's working on a Bible lesson. 
Come on. Oh, I want to see No, you. no. Pap, hey, Jack. Jack, get back here. So here is Delilah and Samson, and you can see Samson still has his hair. Look at this. And so Delilah came to him and whispered in his ear. She went, have you ever whispered in somebody's ear? No. Like this. And so Delilah came to him and whispered in his ear. She asked, just what would you make, wait, just, okay, she asked, just what would make you weak? You'll tell me, won't you, dear? She's spying on him. She's going to see what has to happen to him to make him weak so he doesn't have all that strength. Two times she asked, two times he lied. That made her really mad. She pouted and she said to him, you're making me look bad. He keeps on telling her lies. He doesn't tell her the truth of what's going on, what makes him so strong. Why won't you share your secret, dear? I guess you don't love me. So Samson told her, here's the truth. My long hair is the key. He never cut his hair, and that's what gave him, that's what gave him his strength. That night when Samson fell asleep, they caught him unaware. Look, they started cutting his hair. She has a big strand of it. Right there. Delilah's Can holding part of his hair. Right there. Do you see the big strand? And look, this guy's got the scissors. They captured him. His, his strength was gone when they cut away his hair. He couldn't stop it. He couldn't do anything then. He didn't have any strength left. Oh, wait. I want those games where he, he gets dead. And so he stuck him and he's not strong enough. In that game. Oh, really? He stamps. Stamp. He stamps. Oh, boy. Now let's see what they do. Then Samson prayed, Please, please hear me, Lord. Is this oil? Let's see if this, this is. This is. Hold on. It's almost done. We've got a couple more pages. Let's see. About two more. Three more. One. That's it. See? Oh, two. Yep. Okay. okay. Then Samson prayed, Please help me, dear. Renew my strength again. So I can show these Philistines my God will always win. So God gave Samson back his strength. Quite pleased with Samson's prayer, then Samson told the prison guard, please rest my hands up there. So Samson is going to put his hands, I think, between like two pillars in this building. And, then gonna and God's going to give him his strength oh. again. God's going to give him his strength. Let's see what happens. Look, he's got the two pillars here. He's going to do one last thing to get back at those people. He pushed those temple pillars hard. The temple came down splat. He killed the, killed the Philistines on sight, and God was pleased with that. So Samson did the will of God, and though he died that day, he died a hero serving God. There is no better way. So... When Samson, wait, let's see. Let's see, let's see here. What? Yeah, what? this is just a dear parents thing. We don't read that. But look at that. Look at all the people. All the walls are going to come Whoa. tumbling down. So really. Could you imagine if you were that strong? No. What would you do if you were that strong that I'll, you could just pick up anything? I'll pick up a house. Could you pick up a house? I don't know. That would be pretty hard to do, wouldn't it? Picking up a house. And I'm going to throw it down the hill. Throw it down the hill? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Would that be funny? Oh, that would just be hilarious. Be hilarious, yeah. Do you know what we do it to a big house? A big house. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. So, okay. Let's say a prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the gift of strength. We may not be as strong as Samson, but we do know that when we follow your ways, you do give us the strength, and you give us the gift of life, and we just thank you for that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Is there anything you wanted to pray for? Uh, no. No? You sure? I don't have anything. You don't have anything to pray for? No. What about your mommy? Nope. Do you thank, are you thankful for your mommy? Yeah. Thanks for joining Jack and I today for the story Samson, Strong and Faithful. 
And what can we as adults learn from this story? Well, in the back of the book, it has dear parents, and this pretty much says it all. Samson was a mighty man known throughout the land. From before his birth, God had set him apart, and God had given him an incomprehensible superhuman strength. Samson ripped apart a lion with his bare hands. He killed a thousand enemy men by slaying them with a jawbone of a donkey. He broke free of every kind of physical binding the enemy used to tie him. Samson was a living hero, but Samson was arrogant, and he had a weakness that led to his destruction. He repeatedly violated his vows to God, and eventually God left him to face his sins. It was when Samson was at his lowest, most hopeless, most broken moment that he saw how his sinfulness had separated him from God and forfeited his life. Samson's life ended sadly, but that's not the sad ending it might seem to be. Samson's true repentance of sin and faithful reliance on God caused God to have mercy on him. God answered Samson's prayer and restored his strength. Samson's last heroic act was to destroy thousands of Israel enemies, thereby setting in motion their eventual freedom from slavery. Samson's story in the Bible teaches that our true strength comes not from anything we can do, but from God himself, who sets us apart for his divine purpose. And like Samson, even when we do wrong things, when we repent and go to God in prayer, God hears us, forgives us, and has mercy on us. So God is always listening to us. When we are at our lowest points, we need to turn to him. We need to repent. We need to change the way we think. We need to ask him to forgive us. And he will hear our prayers. And he will restore the relationship with us. So let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for always being there to be ready to restore relationship. We just thank you that you hear our prayers and that you are always listening. And that we turn to you, that you will take us back, Lord, and you will be there to restore everything that was lost when we strayed from you. We thank you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Have a great week, everyone. We'll see you next time on Talk Time.